So we've just arrived at the Redwood Forest in Warburton. These trees are a hell of a lot bigger than I expected. Um, they're a lot taller. Hopefully the forest is, is nice and deep so we don't end up with some weird forest ending in the background of the photos. Maybe try and Photoshop the forest to be bigger. Let's go in and take some photos. Currently, we're a little bit lost in in uh, what's the place called? Redwood Forest. We walked through the Redwood Forest, we walked to a little creek, and now we can't find our way out. The fun things. We may have just found the way out. Looks like it's opening back up to somewhere where we were like half an hour ago. Fingers crossed. Good news, we uh, made it out, back to the forest. Looks like everyone's gone home. It was super, super busy like an hour ago, not even. Uh, but it looks like everyone's everyone's made a move and we're one of the only only people left in the forest. So it's, it's a pretty cool spot. Main things look up shots and look ups through the, uh, through the trees. Really cool spot. Haven't been out here before though, it's um, Definitely one that I'll be coming back to, I think. So even though we're coming winter, the greens are surprisingly out. Um, I'm sure the trees have more, more foliage on this normally, um, but since it's winter, it's uh, pretty bare, but the tops of the trees have some really nice greens. Um, hopefully they pop nicely in the photos. I don't know what else to say. So next spot that we're heading to is called the Rainforest Gallery, still in Warburton. Not sure how far away from here it is. Hopefully it's not insanely far. Um, but I'll check back in when we get there. So if you're headed to uh, Redwood Forest, especially in winter after rainfall, definitely recommend uh, taking some boots you don't care about getting covered in mud. Have a look at this. We've just arrived at the Rainforest Gallery. Um, we were a little bit stressed driving up. It is up part way through up Mount Donna Buang, I think is how you say it, and a little bit before you get to the gates. It says pretty close to the bottom that you should bring chains, um, and we got a little bit stressed that we're in a Volkswagen Beetle, so it's not really four wheel drive equipped. We aren't carrying chains, so we are 
we're really hoping we wouldn't have to deal with snow um, and all of the turnover places we would have got bogged in because they were all full of mud. Thankfully though, we made it up, we're all good. Um, let's head, head out to the catwalk and we'll see what this is like. Rainforest Gallery I thought was going to be a lot better. Still worth the like five minute drive up the hill to get here and just have a look, but don't expect any awesome photos. Don't expect a massive lookout over the rainforest. It's sort of just a random lookout into the rainforest and you met fair square with a tree. You don't really get to see a whole lot. Um, normally it seems like you can go for a walk down onto a little walkway underneath the rainforest, but the track's closed now, apparently for public safety, which is boring. Kind of really tempted to ignore it and jump over, but we're not going to do that. We're going to follow the rules. We're going to going to do what we're supposed to do. Um, and yeah, it's look, it's worth the trip, but a bit underwhelming, if I'm honest. Here are the photos. We had nothing great at all. So we're going to take the long way back to Mansfield. We're going through Marysville and Buxton and the, I think the Black Spur, so it'll um, be a bit of a windy road, be more rainforests. Um, should be pretty exciting though. Might be some nice spots to pull over and take some photos, especially during sunset. So um, fingers crossed we, we get to find something cool. Overall, Warburton's been a, a pretty cool spot to visit. Um, I'd say it's worth a two hour drive. It's a, a pretty cool hippie feeling town um, if you're into into good vibes and to um, incense and stuff. Um, seems like it's a town that you'd like quite a lot. Um, everybody in the town has really an interesting feel about them. They seem to be to be really good people. Um, so I think I'd come back to Warburton again. Um, the the Redwood Forest is definitely its main attraction and one of the main reasons you should come. But shops are really good. Cafes are really nice. Um, bakery looked really good. Interesting place if you're up for a day trip anywhere in Victoria. So I stopped off in Bonnie Doon on the way home. Um, it was a pretty interesting drive. We didn't end up going through the Black Spur like I thought we were. Um, we went over the back of Marysville, so up through the hills, up through the state forest. Um, it was a really beautiful drive. Um, nothing really photographic, really. Uh, it was all fairly samey, no real photo compositions really stuck out um, and there was no lookout areas to look over the to look over the state forest <laughs> so we just drove on through it was a, a pretty relaxed drive um, just stopped off in Bonnie Doon for a bit of a pit stop to stretch our legs um, it's been a pretty good day overall I've really enjoyed coming out to Warburton if you've been thinking about doing a day trip and you've been putting it off or you've thought that it wouldn't be fun or anything like that just go and do it just look up random spots that are within a couple of hours of your house and just make a day trip of it it's uh well well worth it um leave early in the morning come back in the afternoon gives you enough time to explore a location and enjoy your time there and get to meet the people and maybe get to know them a bit um overall today was definitely worth the uh the trip out so i've spent the last little bit editing all of the photos that I got at Warburton. Uh, the only photos that I really liked were the ones that I got at the Redwood Forest. Um, I didn't really like any of the ones that I took at the Rainforest Gallery. Um, and I completely didn't even think about taking photos in the town, which I kind of regret. Um, but the photos that I got from the Redwood Forest, I genuinely really, really love. I think they're some of the best photos that I've taken, especially some of the little cup shots. I've never had a lens wide enough, so I've been to, to state parks and forests before, um, but I never had a 15 to 30 that was wide enough to make those look up shots have the impact that these ones do, and it genuinely really made a difference. On a couple of these images, I used a radial filter in Lightroom, and I really reduced the, the clarity and the texture. 
and reduce the dehaze a little bit and it creates this almost fog atmospheric feeling to the tops of the trees and I really really like that. It, it makes it feel like there's low cloud and it's a bit more, gives it more of a feeling of a, a fantasy land. And that's a, a, a type of photo that I really enjoy. I'll throw up a quick slideshow of all of the, the photos that I took. Hope you enjoy them. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, drop a comment down below on what you thought and what you think of these photos, and I'd love it if you, if you hit that subscribe button. It means a ton, does a lot for the algorithm. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next one.